Hello and welcome to the new Let's Play The Stanley Parable. Um, with me is Jasper. Hi there. And as you can see, uh, gents and ladies, we now have a new uh, webcam with HD. So it should be better, but also probably, well, more interactive. Anyway, uh, part two. We're going to continue on where we last uh, left also off. More ugly. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> I love you too. Right. Anyway, <laughs> we're going now to uh, continue on where we last were, and it's uh, going to be quite uh, quite funny from the stuff we've seen so far. Let's uh, move on. Well, we started it again, which is what you always do, apparently. Last time we just went uh, on How and long was I clicked everything. There? Stanley wondered oh, to himself. There we go. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Sure, of course. <coughs> uh. Let's just touch everything. There's a lot of stuff we could do, apparently. Uh, do I have to the whole door thing again? Thing I office, think so, yeah. But it didn't make a single difference. But nor did it advance the story in any way. Hold on. There's... I read somewhere that you can do something to stand on tables, but... Hold on. Hold on. Apparently, right, you can have... I've seen something about windows. And apparently, I think it's this one. We can move to the windows. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's Whoa. it. Oh. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. And <laughs> heard this narration and realized... <laughs> that the oh, that's fantastic. Long. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Yes, that, oh look, there's the window. Just to drink it all in. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Are we sick of this, dude? I think we are, aren't we? Yes. Yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, <laughs> but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. <laughs> now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these <laughs> and so many, many more. What? All of them <laughs> are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, <laughs> you hear that? What the hell is that? There once was a man named Stanley. <laughs> so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Oh, wow. Which Thank you very much. in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Oh, what a bastard. <laughs> You too will become quite unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice fellow. <laughs> the guitar playing. This reminds me of making a new intro. <laughs> <laughs> well then. I better smoke to this, because this is going to take a while, right? Don't you have to restart the game? I think we do. But maybe if we hold out long enough, see what he says. Unless this just keeps replaying, then we just restart the whole thing. <laughs> this is so fucking terrible. Do you, do you want to just restart it now? Yeah, I'm getting crazy. Yeah. Is he done? No, it's on no, repeat. No, it's on repeat. Fuck this shit. Let's <laughs> restart it. Alright, here we go. New go. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. 
If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Yes, of course. That would be logical, wouldn't it? Well then. Oh, I could close doors and open them and... Oh, and I... I huh? guess this is where Stanley felt he needed to be right now. In this little hallway. <coughs> Here, with no distractions. To study room 417. Not yes. to actually enter it. No, 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 no. That would be <laughs> far too forward. Stanley wanted to know it from the outside. To see it not just with his eyes, but with his heart. He would know room 417 as no man or woman had ever known an office before. That ladder over there. Oh, and that little picture of a horizon or something. It's all just a never-ending parade of joy for Sam. Jasper, this is, this is absolutely terrible. This is so boring. Uh, <laughs> let, let's continue on before I get a heart attack. It's... Of boredom. Ah, no, apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. Let's continue on. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, no, no. We're still gonna do the old thing. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Because I think, remember the blue and red doors first, just to that we had last time, Jasper? Yeah, you couldn't go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna <sighs> persist yes, this time. Truly a room worth yes, admiring. yes. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. <laughs> I think we could do better. I think we can really Stanley piss him off. So bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't we did already. Years ago. Oh yes, but we can do it a we lot worse. We made him cry. Oh yeah, we made him cry, yeah. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I want to see sure what's up there. You really, I'm not. Up there. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. But yeah. the fact is that the story has been about nothing but Yeah, let's go up there first. I agree. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her? Well, that's new. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's her back in her life. Waiting. Oh, God. I wonder what this could be, Jasper. <laughs> uh, uh... Oh god, That's the woman is calling. Family. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can oh hell no. Dude, no. Faith in another, Dude, is that a power plug? Then pick up the phone. I, w I wonder. It, hold on. I wonder. As Stanley picked ah, up it the works. Phone, a white light engulfed him. Filling him not just with... <laughs> it works, I can turn it off. Hope, hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yeah. <laughs> wasn't supposed to be yep. a choice. How did you do that? <laughs> actually, chosen correctly. I, I, I didn't blocked it. That was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely here. Oh, this is fantastic. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes <laughs> in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. <laughs> How is that even possible? Yet we did it None anyway. These decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait yeah. a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? What? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Well. He finally figured it out. Taken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. <laughs> if you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for <laughs> real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can What is he gonna do? On Whoa! In the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Oh, ha! Choice. He's gonna make a video! <laughs> it's the best part of being a real person. Oh wow. But choice. if used incorrectly, it can also be Let's the watch. most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Steven has a choice. 
<laughs> he could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. <laughs> <A cigarette's laughs> really cool. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30-kilometer <laughs> radius of his house. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that unlike here, what the, the real world makes sense, and at no <laughs> time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational. Just burn that kid. <laughs> if you find yourself speaking Fish. with a person who does not make sense, <laughs> in all likelihood, this that is person dusty. is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, <laughs> that then provide real. an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to your <laughs> partner and practice saying, "My goodness, is it 4:30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack." <laughs> what? <laughs> well, come on then, Jasper. Uh, goodness, it's 4:30. I'm about to have a backside crack. <laughs> Making choices on a regular <laughs> basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. What the hell? This is so <laughs> weird. Professionals it makes recommend no sense. making at least eight choices per day. Oh, that's Do the you eight. Make more than eight, less, and finally. If you Eight. begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, <laughs> just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, <laughs> and the feeling should subside. <laughs> At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. This is brilliant. This is absolutely <laughs> amazing. Ah, oh, what? back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But what the hell worry. happened? Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. All right, then let's uh, continue on. That is really weird, by the way. Uh, danger everywhere. <laughs> Well, uh, anyway, let's continue on then, Jasper. I have no idea where the hell we are now, but... <laughs> no idea either. Oh, wait, uh, no. We're, we're... Yeah, we're... He knows that we're a real person now, so look, he put a safety fence around <laughs> it. That is amazing. Uh, <laughs> now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Ah, oh, come on. You're ruining my fun. Senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. He doesn't even trust you anymore. Get you no. home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Well, that sucks. So now he put a safety fence around it. And he thinks we're a real person. Well, we are, but, you know, we're not standing now, apparently. This is really odd. Yep. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. <laughs> That's not how it <laughs> works, mate, but alright. Uh, so he wants us to go to the left door, so we'll take the right, obviously. <laughs> Come on, this is just too easy. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Yeah. That means choosing responsibly and always uh -huh. putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll so be Jasper, what door are we going to take? <laughs> follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry back in the other direction, perhaps we're not too late. What the hell happened? Look, I think the world is collapsing now because... <laughs> 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 Look at that office. <laughs> oh my god. That is brilliant. <laughs> Anarchy. Anarchy. Well then. <sighs> Fine. Fine, we'll take the left one. Jesus. That ruined all my fun. <laughs> Oh, what no, the hell? I was saying thank you. you. I know. I can't believe after everything we <laughs> talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my world! <laughs> we, we destroyed everything. What? Collapsing the world. What did you get out of that? <laughs> what did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. <laughs> and what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. <laughs> Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. 
Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I'm, I don't know. I'm quite proud of this, Jesper. Yes, <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. Oh, for fuck's sake, to. no. I have to. Oh, what? What's happening? Uh, what? No! Oh. <laughs> yeah, he destroyed he it. Shut the game down. What a bastard. Oh, it's it's back. It's back. <laughs> what the hell is happening? I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. <laughs> with you. We destroyed the world. <laughs> Who thought you were so clever? Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. <laughs> what did you think that was funny? You just had to see. Yeah, Didn't this I was quite upon funny. You how important it was to be like Stanley. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. No, he doesn't. <laughs> that thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? <laughs> that there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh. My story. We're a child. Yep. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. <laughs> what? What the hell? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing the story. <laughs> he restarted it again. Always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll well, be up to the task. Just I think you have to go left now. Fine. Yeah, I All think right. so. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. I think otherwise he'll ruin the world or something. Alright then. We'll go to this door. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided Meeting to go up to his floor. boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. It's probably also stuff that has been changed to move my desk. <laughs> what the hell? I wonder what kind of office it is. is. Using slides to. Everybody's unique, you must. Oh, it's that kind of crap. Yeah, we don't care about that. <laughs> we have a new product. Crafts about things plus money. <laughs> Number of profits, slides. Profits, profits. <laughs> charts, charts and slides, slides. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. No slide depicts the same information. Everything. <laughs> profits, profits, profits. Charts need to be more hip too. <laughs> this is so much bollocks. It's a, bro a broom closet. It's it's locked. Ah, oh, too bad. Let's continue on then. Um, Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Right then, let's continue on. Ah, oh, this is the boss's office. What the hell? Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley this is from the demo. once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. <laughs> a Shop panda bear with a gun to his head. Stanley wondered in disbelief <laughs> who orchestrated this until he oh, wow. saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Oh. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on Who's his that? boss's computer just last week. Night I'm the most expensive one, boss. One <laughs> was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath. Which code was and it? And then spoke the code. Night shark one one five. Night shark one one five. This is a game, of course you can't fucking use voice chat, so how... <coughs> it's probably a joke. Spoke <laughs> we can't Night speak! Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. Night Shark 115, no. Yeah, this doesn't I'm work. I'm sorry, is there a problem? <laughs> you didn't mishear me, did you? 
Please speak the code into the Oh, for receiver. fuck's sake. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial... Say it, Xander. Yes, but it won't help shit. It's a game. <laughs> okay, <laughs> say it louder. Sorry, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? <laughs> it's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing... Night Shark 115. The kind it doesn't of work. respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, <laughs> then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. <laughs> Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. <laughs> what the hell? You started it again. <laughs> <laughs> he went meant. He entered the door on his left. Now look, that, that's Stanley. Well, it's you. Yeah. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. <laughs> I... I need you to make a choice. That's the end. I need you to That's the game. The <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> this must be a joke. <laughs> is everything alright? Look. Stanley, this is important. I think... The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. <laughs> I cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I said, <laughs> take that step forward, please. Choose. He's just there. Fucking stand. Something? Anything? <laughs> he starts <laughs> to cry as well. <laughs> I need this. The story needs it. <laughs> so, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? <laughs> Okay. It's okay, I can wait. Oh, wow. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. <laughs> this is so weird. Jasper, I have no <laughs> idea. Is this the end? No. I don't think so. I must be at least a hundred others. As much time as you need. Take as much time as you need. So, what? That's it. I think we have to begin it again. Oh, look. Yeah, it starts far out of itself. That's fine then. Whoa, what the hell? It's what the fuck? Ah, papers? She load of them. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the what time the I thought everyone had gone missing? Why the hell are there so many papers now on the floor? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. They're everywhere. <laughs> Papers everywhere. I'd go mental. That many papers. Awaiting input. <laughs> input received. Yeah, we've done that before. This is weird. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did More it advance papers. the story in any way. God, there's so many papers. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, what do you reckon will happen if we go right now? Left. I don't know. I have no idea. This was not the correct way to the meeting. Oh, room, nothing. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> Let's go to the employee Again? lounge. Yeah. Wow. Yes. This room. Nah, we've what seen all this. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I wonder. Shall we take the left one? Yeah. This time. And yeah. so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. What do you think? Go down this way or back on track? Back on track. Alright. This will be another option for another day. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley fired, decided don't. to go Talk up less. to his boss's office, hoping he might <laughs> find an answer there. Had sold his with a co-worker. I'll let a ball so you take it out passive-aggressively on other co-workers. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Uh, all right. Hold on. Yeah, the broom closet is open this time. Woohoo!
Stanley Let's see what happens. The broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Yeah, let's not yeah. do that. Let's stick in a closet for a while. I've got an idea that he will. There was nothing here. No <laughs> yeah, he, he's gonna get activated. To follow, <laughs> just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. No, oh, uh, let's see about that. Let's just stay here, Jasper. For ah. ah. It was baffling that Stanley was still <laughs> in the closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, well, there's he's a broom. just standing there doing sweet F.A. F.A., fuck all. <laughs> well, let's, um... Are you... are you really still... <laughs> standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> Let's stay here because he's getting really aggravated now. It's just awesome. You do realize there's no <laughs> choice or anything in there. <laughs> if I said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Nah, it nah, didn't nah. even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely <laughs> no significance to Which the Which is exactly why we stay here. So ever. I never would have thought to mention it. Ah, nice closet. Just a little detail Maybe on this. to you, this is somehow its own branching path. <laughs> Maybe when you go talk you about You can't shut up about it, can he? You'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favourite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. With the XD, <laughs> I hope your friends fight disconcerting. Yeah, the XD, the whole texting chat. was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drugs. He's just assaulting me now. Stan is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> or addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. <laughs> You're got dead. To the broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. <laughs> when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system, and you collapsed on the keyboard. <laughs> in a situation like this, the responsible <laughs> thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. <laughs> this is Hello? amazing. Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. <laughs> he or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer. <laughs> this is amazing. Sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. So that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. <laughs> All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. <laughs> what the hell, man? So he wants you to get out. Yeah, but I think we can still piss him off. I'm not sure, Un unless he actually is done now, because it was quite a long one. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Ah. Second player, it's good <laughs> to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> now, now he thinks I'm the second player, right? So I'm the the new guy that took over. So I'm gonna stay in the closet. <laughs> you too. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the control <laughs> to. The fish, fungus. <laughs> Look, oh my god. The details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. <laughs> <laughs> you can really activate him. But he insulted yep. me, man, Jasper. He insulted me. Called me fat and ugly. And, uh, what a prick. <laughs> and really, really stupid. <laughs> Alright then. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Well, we went to the office, so we go downstairs. Yeah. Open up! No, I guess not then. A red light. What the hell is up here? I have no idea. Well, down here, probably the but parking Stanley garage. But just couldn't do it. He what? considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in so? such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? 
All because he yeah. believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Wait, what? Maybe. We're in the back in the same room now. Maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. This is just None a repeat of the same room now. Sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that <laughs> He's going mad now. These rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Yes. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. <laughs> oh. This is all a dream. Apparently I'm yelling. Oh, what a relief Stanley <laughs> felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. Uh, he, he's he bad himself, shit's insane. I suppose yeah. I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. <laughs> so, he imagined himself... Could you go to the left? ...and began to gently float above the uh, ground. Apparently we're floating. Car? Then he no, we can't. Imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it what the hell, appeared. dude? He he's stripping so balls now. Fun. What's <laughs> that? He had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And he's, then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything? Yeah, that wh I'm why is there one thinking? actually? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. He's I going insane now, Jasper, honestly. This describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And death kids is why you shouldn't do drugs. Yeah, exactly, because the narrator <laughs> will start talking to you and <laughs> let you fly through course. space. This was not a dream. Apparently. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? The music as well. Awake right now, like as he's <laughs> ever been in his life. Now hearing the voice speak right, well. these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him flow to make the magical stars just a moment this ago? This is this How is taking forever to be honest. That? I'm not even going to walk anymore. It's completely pointless. <laughs> too. Surely, surely, if he could just, he would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. He'll prove it, that huh? this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. Oh, we and have he to invited himself asleep. to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Yes, this is quite Let relaxing. Me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my I feel like I'm at the therapist office my now. Job. All I want is my life exactly <coughs> the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Will be fine. I am okay. <laughs> this is way too ridiculous. Nope. What? Nope. No, we're still here. Stanley began screaming. He's going office. mad now. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. <laughs> I must be real. I must be clean. <laughs> 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 Stanley! And everything went black. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> This is fantastic. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? A woman? What? Huh? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Oh, I think I'm dead. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. Yeah, and then that's that's the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. 
What? And in that <laughs> moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what is. This is weird, man. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way. So yeah, kids spending drugs make you turn into a woman too. Uh, she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the <coughs> rest of her life. She had no wow. time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> she turned and ran. Oh, what a bitch. Uh, well, I think that was it for uh, that one then. There must be more entrances, but I think we're out of time. <laughs> that was weird that was very disturbing and weird <laughs> I feel kind of dirty now too to be honest but uh, I wonder what's going to happen next yeah I have no idea but we'll see that on the next episode this was Sandra and Jasper I don't... see you all in the next let's play cheers